The slider consists of two aluminium tubes, each 1 meter long and 16 mm thick. The thickness is quite important, but more on that later. I drilled two holes on each end of the tubes to attach them with screws to a solid platform, which in this case was a leftover piece of metal that was strong enough and also had some holes already in it, meaning less work for me. Then I also attached a piece of scrap wood to the metal to make a base for the tripod adapter. I drilled a 8mm hole, which was a little bit smaller, and with some force I was able to screw in the adapter. It holds tight in place and allows me to put the slider on a set of tripods. Lastly, I added a spring to serve as a bump stop. Now let's put the pieces together. Obviously, you're gonna need some screws. The length is up to you, but since they also serve as feet, you can't go wrong with some longer ones. Be careful when tightening it all down, because you can very easily squish the tubes, aka learn from my mistakes. Next step is to assemble the platform for the camera. Again, I used scrap wood and attached four linear bearings to it. The inner diameter is 16 mm, so they fit perfectly on the tubes and they also have grooves on them allowing you to use zip ties. It doesn't get easier than that. When cutting the wood platform, be as precise as you can, otherwise the tubes will be bending inwards or outwards and the sliding motion won't be smooth. To connect a tripod head to the platform, you will need a 3 8 UNC screw. In Europe, it's not easy to buy them, you will probably have to find a specialized hardware store. We will use the same procedure like we used for the tripod adapters to secure it into the platform. Drill a 8mm hole and force the screw in it. Now just connect the second end piece and voila, you have a functioning slider. The only disadvantage this slider has is that it is not that silent, but for my use at home that's perfectly fine. And now some test shots to show it in the action. 